So that's why you should vote for me, Princess Paula, to be class president of Lincoln Middle School. Because I'm popular and I'm pretty. Okay, thank you, Paula. Next, we're gonna hear from... Sorry, guys, I do have to take this. Uh, Stevie, you can go ahead. Uh, um, hello, M my, my name is St Steven. Can you hurry it up? Are you really that d d dumb <laughs> Hey, that's not nice. You shouldn't call other- Be quiet, four eyes. I wasn't talking to you. Okay, sorry, guys. Uh, Steven, go ahead and tell us why everybody should vote for you. You, you should vote for me be, 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 because because I wa want to, to end b b b b b It's bullying for crying out loud. How are you going to end bullying when you can't even pronounce it? Okay, that's enough, Paul. You had your turn. Thank you. Steven, I think that's a, a wonderful idea. <laughs> okay, that's the bell, everybody. But if you want to hear the rest of Steven's speech and you want to cast your vote, we're doing that in the cafeteria. Vote for me, please. Hey. Oh no. I'd help you pick them up, but I wouldn't want my crown to fall off. And besides, it's not like you're gonna win anyway. <laughs> Stop it, P P Paula. It's not nice to beat, beat, beat. Oh gosh. Here we go again. How are you gonna beat me when you can't even say a simple word, stuttering Steven? <laughs> That's for sure his new nickname. <laughs> it's gonna be fun watching you s s struggle during your s s speech later. Come on, let's go. Okay, you okay? N n n no. M maybe I shouldn't have run, run for pre president. Don't say that. Let me ask you something. Is becoming class president important to you? Yes. M maybe one day I can be become the p p president of the United States, just like Joe b b b Biden. That that's my j j dream. Well, I think you'd make a fantastic president. I'd vote for you. Thanks. Hey. I'm surprised you don't stutter when you say, hey. <laughs> l l leave me alone, pa Paula. Hey, everyone. Who do I remind you of? Hi, everyone. My name's Stuttering S Steven, and I'm not very s s smart. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that. It's not nice to make fun of people, Paula. You see, hey, why would you do that? Because you deserved it. Now be quiet before I start making fun of your ugly jacket. Exactly. Anyways, you all should come to the cafeteria to vote for me. Unless, well, you'd rather have Stuttering Steven be president of the school. <laughs> stuttering Steven, Stuttering Steven, Stuttering Steven, Stuttering Steven, Stuttering Steven. <laughs> Steven, hey. What's wrong? Why are you crying? I can't do, do th this. They're all ca calling me st st stuttering Steven and saying I'm not s s smart. Who is? Look, listen to those guys, okay? Just because you have a stutter doesn't mean you're not smart. What if they're right? What if I am d d dumb? I'm never going to be p p p president. You want to know something? When I was younger, I had a stutter too. You did? Yeah. I remember getting called all the names and everybody laughing and always being embarrassed. But there's something my mom always said that made me feel better. What, what, what's that? That whenever someone has a stutter, it's because whatever they're saying is so good, it needs repeating. <laughs> I re re really like that, but I still don't know if I can be become pr pr president with the st st stutter. Well, what did you tell me earlier? That your goal is to become president of the United States, right? Yeah, well, 
It was. Yeah, well, Joe Biden has a stutter. He d d does? Yes. And if stuttering Joe Biden can become president of the United States, then what's stopping stuttering Stephen from becoming president of Lincoln Middle School? And your campaign is to end bullying, right? Yes. Okay, so then don't let the bully win. Go give that speech. So that's why I think you should vote for me. I'm popular, I'm pretty, plus I'll make sure we have less homework and more movies. Thank you, Paula. It's Princess Paula. Right, sorry about that. Okay, uh, next is Steven. Steven, come on up here and tell everyone why they should vote for you. Uh, h h hello. I think, think you should vo vo It's vote, genius. Paula, that wasn't very nice. I'm just saying. How is he gonna beat me when he can't even pronounce the word? <laughs> That's enough. Settle down. Go ahead, Stephen. Finish what you were saying. How m m many times are we going to let a b b bully m make us feel bad about ourselves? Or m m making comments about g g Gordon's glasses? Or l l laughing at s Sally's jacket? Or c c calling me d d dumb? and saying I have a st st stutter. Enough is enough. Not any anymore. Not, not if you v v vote for me for p p president. Why are you clapping? He can't even say things correctly. He says things just fine for me. Yeah, I actually like the way Steven talks. All right, so. If you vote for Stephen, raise your hand. What? You can't be serious. So, it's official. Stephen is the next class president of Lincoln Middle School. giving that speech, I could never be because of my stutter. Yeah, you c c can. Just re remember, when someone stutters, it's just mean what they're ch ch trying to say is so g g good, it's wor worth re re repeating. I love that. Okay, class. Who can solve the problem? How about... I know. Julia. Samantha. Hey, Julia. My birthday party's coming up in a couple weeks at Giuliani's. Will you come? I know you're still new here, but you haven't come to any school events yet. You have to come to this one. Yeah, it's gonna be so fun. Are there gonna be a lot of people there? Yeah, pretty much the whole class. If you don't come, you'll be the only one not there. I'll think about it. See ya. That was weird. I think she has really bad anxiety. That's probably why she never goes anywhere. No. I feel so bad for her. Why doesn't she just talk to someone about it? Julia, what are you doing in bed? It's 4 p.m. Just leave me alone, please. Come on. Let's get out of the house. 
What do you say we go get some ice cream? No, I don't want to. You know, when I was your age, I'd always be hanging with my friends after school. You couldn't drag me home. Yet here you are, laying in bed, missing out on everything all by yourself. Please just leave me alone. Can you at least please tell me what's going on with you? I already told you. I get really bad anxiety around people. Anxiety. There you go with that again. What could you possibly be anxious about? You just don't understand. See, this is the problem with your generation. You have no real problems to worry about, yet you just have to create some kind of- Please just get out of my room. This is unbelievable. Oh, look, you've been invited to a birthday party, but I bet you're not even gonna go again. No, I'm not going. Now please, just get out of my room. I don't get it. What are you so scared of? Are you gonna answer? Oh, here we go again. Julia, open this door right now. This is ridiculous. Hey, what's going on? Is everything okay? Uh, no. Julia has locked herself in her bathroom once again and is not coming out. Please just leave me alone. Oh no, what happened? Oh, apparently she's dealing with anxiety as if that's a real thing. It's very real. A lot of kids suffer from it. What are you talking about? When I was a kid, we didn't even have such things. Sweetheart, can I come in please? I don't want to talk to anyone right now. I just want to be by myself. Oh no. I feel so bad for her. She must be going through so much right now. You're joking, right? She doesn't have to worry about the rent or the electricity. She doesn't even have to put food on the table. What in the world could she be so anxious about? Roger, I don't think you understand how anxiety works. <sighs> oh, really? And what makes you such an expert? Because I went through it. Okay? That's how I know. What? You didn't tell me this. Sometimes you're not the easiest guy to talk to. That's why I never told you. Mom? You had anxiety too? Hey. Yeah. I never told anybody. Just my therapist. You see, when I was a young girl, I was always laughing and smiling. I was probably one of the most popular girls in school. But then, out of nowhere, my dad got a new job and we all had to move across the country. I begged my parents to let me stay, but they wouldn't listen. Suddenly, I found myself as the new kid in school. Everyone already had their friend groups, and I felt like such an outcast. I was too nervous to talk to anyone, so I would eat lunch all by myself. And that's when my anxiety started. Suddenly, I found myself 
scared to raise my hand in class. I'd create these imaginary situations in my head of answering the question wrong and everyone laughing at me. Flying on airplanes? <laughs> Forget it. I'd feel paralyzed and suffocated like I couldn't even breathe. Even basic things like eating at a restaurant became a challenge. The whole time I would sit there shaking and sweating, thinking that everyone was judging me. So you see, I know anxiety is real because I went through it. Oh my gosh. I had no idea all that had happened. Do you think that's why she's feeling this way? It's not always one reason. Sometimes there's no reason at all. We all go through different things at different times. The important part is that you know we are there for you, honey. And we're going to help you get through this. Thanks, Mom. You have no idea what that means to me. Everything that you just said is exactly what I feel every day. I've just been too scared to talk about it. Well, that's probably my fault. I know I haven't been the easiest person to talk to. I feel terrible for the way I've been treating you. I'm so sorry. It's okay. It's hard to understand if you haven't been through it. Um, but you beat it. How can I get through it? Well, my therapist used to say, you can't heal what you don't reveal. So the first step is just to be able to talk about it. You can always talk to me, honey. I promise I'll never judge you again. Thanks, Dad. So you think I should see a therapist then? No, I don't think I need it. <laughs> That decision is up to you. It, some people get over it on their own and others seek professional help. We can't choose for you. That's a decision you need to make. I guess it can't hurt to talk to someone, right? Is that okay? Sure, sweetheart. Whatever you need. Come here. I love you so much. I love you too. <laughs> Julia smiles for the first time in a long period after finally opening up about her anxiety. She decides to go see a therapist and completely opens up about everything she's feeling. The therapist offers her lots of advice on how to control her anxiety. Once she gets home, she practices meditating every day for 30 minutes. The meditation helps her control her thoughts and relax her mind. She starts living a healthier lifestyle by getting enough sleep, eating healthy meals, and exercising every single day. By living better, she starts to feel better. She even decides to get out of her comfort zone to practice controlling her anxiety. When she feels the urge to run away, instead, she closes her eyes, controls her breathing, and counts to five. It doesn't always work, but every once in a while, it helps her overcome it. And then, several weeks later, Julia does something that shocks her entire class. Okay, class. Who can solve this problem? Oh, wow. Julia, I have never seen you raise your hand before. Come on up. The answer is B. Yes, that's correct, Julia. Amazing job. Happy birthday to you. Are you sure?
sure you want to do this in? Um, I'll try. You know, you don't have to if you don't want to. Actually, I, I don't think I'm ready yet. It's okay. It's a process. You're doing great. Remember, you can always talk to us. Because... I know. You can't heal what you don't reveal. Exactly. So, do you just want to go home then? Actually, I was thinking maybe we could go out for ice cream instead. Yeah, that sounds great. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Oh wait, before you go, check these out. How cool are those? No way! The unicorn headphones? I know, right? I know how much you love them. So, you have a nice day, sweetheart. I love you. Thanks, Mom. I love you too! Wow, that was Danny. He looked so cute. He's definitely like the coolest guy in school. I know, and I have this feeling that he's going to ask me out soon. He probably likes me. Hey, watch it. Sorry. What's with all the dumb unicorns? Oh, they're my favorite animal. <laughs> my mom even got me these fancy pairs of headphones. Do you like that? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> maybe if I was like five. I don't get it. What's wrong with them? Seriously? First off, unicorns aren't real animals. They're imaginary. Second, only little kids play with them. Yeah, I can't believe you like those. That's so embarrassing. But I really like them. <laughs> well, now we all know why you don't have any friends, loser. <laughs> Hey, don't let them get to you. Yeah, everyone knows they're just bullies. We think your headphones are really cool. Really? You do? Yep. I wish I had some like these. You should totally wear them. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Look, there's three seats next to May. Let's just kick her off the table. Get lost, we wanna sit here. <laughs> hey, loser, I said leave. We need this table. You guys can sit with me if you want. <laughs> <laughs> you really think we'd be seen hanging out with you? Get real. <laughs> Oh my gosh, she even has a unicorn lunchbox. <laughs> wow, no way. I can't believe it. What's wrong with my lunchbox? Do you not get it? <laughs> Only little babies like unicorns. How do you not know that? But I already... I'm not trying to be seen having a conversation with you. Just leave. May, there's an extra chair over here. <laughs> you can come sit with us. Okay, thanks. Ugh, you're taking forever. My lunch! <laughs> <laughs> that was really mean, Michelle. Whatever. If you want to sit with this loser, go ahead. Come on, you can have some of my lunch. Have a seat. Here, you can have some of my lunch too. Thank you. Are you seriously still thinking about wearing those? I don't know. Do you think you're in preschool? People in middle school wear AirPods. See? Not some dumb unicorn headphones. <laughs> I can't believe you like those. Seriously, you should just throw them away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, hon, how 
we sco- Hey! Why are you throwing those away? I don't want to wear these jump headphones. Don't let me go wear these unicorns. What do babies do? They're so embarrassing. May. May, tell me what happened. Just forget it! May. May, wait. May! The mom goes to get the headphones out of the trash, so confused by what's happening. A couple students come up to her and explain everything. She's shocked to hear the story. She goes to console May and give her headphones back, but May wants nothing to do with unicorns anymore. When May and her mom get home, May runs off to her room crying, still so sad from what happened earlier. The mom is so emotional seeing how hurt her daughter is. The mom decides she can't keep quiet, so she sits in front of her camera and decides to make a video about what happened. So my 10 year old daughter came home from school today really upset. Why? Because kids were making fun of her. Why? Because of her headphones. See, I bought her these, bling and all, because she, she loves unicorns. And she was so excited to wear them. But now she feels like she can't because the kids at school are telling her that they're just for babies. My daughter has some mental delays in intellectual disabilities, so she really internalizes things like this. And now I've always taught my daughter to be a decent human being and have kindness and respect for others, but apparently not everybody thinks that way. So if, um, if your kid has these or anything else with unicorns on it, will you take a picture of them wearing it or a video so I can show her how cool she really is? And for the love of God, please, please, please teach your kids to have respect and stop bullying. The mom finishes recording her emotional video and decides to post it online. She uploads it onto YouTube not knowing what was going to happen. Before long, the video ends up going viral. It gets over a million views within just a short time. The mom couldn't believe it. She brings May over to see what happened. May watches her mom open up her email that's flooded with videos from kids all over the world. Each kid has something with unicorns on it and tells May just how cool they think she is. May can't believe it. For the first time in a long time, she even smiles. The mom couldn't be happier. And then, the next day at school, May gets a big surprise. Look at the new photo Danny posted on Instagram. Ugh, he's so dreamy. You guys definitely belong together. Check it out. She's still wearing those dumb headphones. Ugh, are you serious? Watch this. Hey, May, you know, the reason why you don't have any friends and why people think you are such a loser is because you hey. lit- We just want to let you know that we loved your unicorn backpack so much. That we got our own. Do you like them? <laughs> I like them. <laughs> 
Wow, you guys are all such losers. May, check it out. We loved your shirt so much that we got matching ones. What do you think? Oh my gosh, they look so cool. I love them. <laughs> wow, I can't believe you guys aren't embarrassed wearing those. I wouldn't be caught dead wearing anything, unicorn. Oh my gosh, it's Danny. You have to go and talk to him. Uh, okay. Hey, Danny. I was actually just about to DM you to see if, you know, you wanted to go out sometime. Thanks, actually, would you mind giving me a sec? May, right? Uh, yes, hi. Um, uh, we heard about your unicorn headphones, and I just wanted to say, I think they're really cool. Really? You do? Yeah. So cool that we actually went out and got a pair. You know, um, well, so we could match you. Hey, sorry to butt in, but you can't be serious. Unicorns, come on. Only little babies like those. That's not true. We really like them. <laughs> By the way, May, if you ever wanted to hang out sometime, just let us know. Okay, I will. Cool. Hey, are those AirPods? Yeah, why? <laughs> wow, no one wears those anymore. <laughs> yeah, we only wear unicorn headphones now. <laughs> These are perfect. Them. They're like so good. So and they match yours. We all look so cool. I know. Whatever. Oh my gosh. Thank you. You all look so cute. Uh, Kimberly? Oh my god. Look at you. Well, I barely recognize you. you. You lost so much weight over the summer. Thanks, Miss Hope. Did you notice anything else? You got braces. I even got a new Minecraft backpack. That is really cool. So tell me, Kimberly, what inspired you to make all of these changes? It's actually Kimmy now. I don't know. A lot of kids made fun of me last year, so I decided to change all these things about myself. Yes, one second. Um, I'm glad that you decided to make all of these changes, honey, but just be sure that you're doing them because they make you happy and not anyone else, okay? All right, everyone, take out your books. I'll be right back. Kimberly, you've lost a lot of weight. Thanks. It's actually Kimmy now, you know, since I'm no longer Kimber the Timber. <laughs> since I lost all the weight and all. You look good, but did you lose too much weight? Yeah. Are you sure you're not sick? <laughs> no. I worked out and dieted all summer. That way no one else will make fun of me anymore. Skinny Kimmy. That should be your new nickname. <laughs> I like that. Hey guys, Kimber the Timber's new name this year is Skinny Kimmy. <laughs> Skinny Kimmy, skinny Kimmy, skinny Kimmy, skinny Kimmy, skinny Kimmy, skinny Kimmy. Is that a Minecraft backpack? Yeah, you like it? I know what you're thinking. Way cooler than my Lego backpack from last year, right? I don't know what I was thinking. Um, no one cares about Minecraft anymore. Yeah, that's so last year. People only care about Pokemon. Pokemon? I thought that stopped being cool like two years ago. <laughs> it's back. And way cooler than Minecraft. I can't believe you didn't know. Do you live under a rock or something? <laughs> Seriously, no one wears that anymore. Yeah, that's so embarrassing. Sit with you girls? Uh, sure. I guess. 
Yes. Thanks. Something looks different about you. Oh, yeah. I lost a lot of weight. Uh, no, that's not it. It's something else. Uh... Oh, you got braces! Oh, yeah. A lot of kids made fun of me last year because of my teeth. So I decided to get them. Do you like them? Yeah. If you want to look like a brace face. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. Or a, a metal mouth. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> or zipper lips. <laughs> oh, uh, tin grin. <laughs> <laughs> Train drops. <laughs> Cheese grater. <laughs> Kimmy? Kimmy, what's wrong? Honey, please tell me what's wrong. Everyone's making fun of me and I just don't understand. They did the same thing to me last year. Sweetheart, you know you can talk to me, right? I just don't know what to change about myself anymore. You see? Last year, everyone at school made fun of me. They laughed at me for the kind of backpack I had or for how bad my teeth were or for how much I weighed. I remember going home and crying so hard after the last day of school. And that's when I decided I would change everything about myself that people didn't like. So I saved up my money all summer to buy myself a new backpack. I even convinced my mom to take me to the dentist so I could get braces. I even started eating healthier. So you see, I tried to change everything about myself. I even tried to change my name, but people still made fun of me. <laughs> oh, sweet child. You didn't need to change any of those things. You were perfect as you were, and you are perfect now. So then, why do people always criticize me? Sadly, that's just how some people are in the world. If you are overweight, they'll say that you eat too much. If you lose weight, they'll say you look sick. If you dress nice, they'll say you show off. And if you dress simple, they'll say you're poor. Unfortunately, no matter what you do, people will always find a reason to criticize you. Okay, so what do I do? Well, you do what makes you happy. Let me ask you a question. Do you like your backpack? Well, yeah. And do you like your braces? Yeah. <laughs> and do you like eating healthy? Well, then that is all that matters. You do what makes you happy for yourself and for no one else. Wow, I never thought of it like that. Thank you so much, Miss Hope. <laughs> Anytime, sweetheart. Look at Kimmy's backpack. I can't believe she's wearing Minecraft. I already told you, no one wears Minecraft. What a loser. <laughs> That's not true. I love Minecraft, and I think it's really cool. Plus, I hear no one wears Pokemon anymore. What? Really? <laughs> yeah, that's so last year. I told you no one wears Pokemon. No, you didn't. You said it was cool. Wow, that was really cool. Yeah. I love how you stood up for yourself, Kimmy. 
Want to have lunch with us today? Sure, but call me Kimberly. I like my own name better. All right, class. Are you into rock and roll at all? Yeah, I love rock. Why? I'm playing at Sal's and would love for you to come. What do we have here? We already have plans. Got us four front row tickets to the big <laughs> hip hop concert. Because I know how much my baby loves hip hop. That's some dumb wannabe rock music.